The Carolina Hurricanes hosting the New York Islanders, and the Hurricanes are minus 180 on the money line. The Islanders are plus 150. The over-under is five and a half goals. Now, the Islanders getting a goal and a half are minus 175. The Hurricanes laying a goal and a half are plus 150. Now, the Islanders are on a one-game losing streak. They are 6-4 and four in their past 10 games, and in those games where they were an underdog and could not lose the game by two, getting a goal and a half, they are 2-2. Two and two. Now the Hurricanes are on a one game winning streak. They are five and five in their past 10 games. And in those games where they were a favorite and could not lose, I uh, had to win the game by two, wow. They are four and five minus a goal and a half. You can see the scores of the Islanders last five games beneath me, just in case you needed a reference. Now, head to head, the Hurricanes are on a nine game winning streak against the Islanders. The Hurricanes are nine and one in their past 10 meetings against the Islanders. The favorite is five and five. Two out of the past three games that these teams have played between each other have been decided by one goal. The under five and a half is two and one in their past three games. The last game that they played, which was this season, Carolina won the game six to three. So do with that what you will. Carolina's playing on back to backs. I understand that the Sabres aren't the most tough opponent. However, you know, the Islanders are trying to make a push for the playoffs here. So let's see. I'm going to take Carolina with the money line, the Islanders with the goals, and the over five and a half just because the last game that they played this season went over. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong.